The question is, is friendly and competent enough from a realtor? Not for us. <laughs> Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. So for over 30 years, we're excited that we've been able to come alongside you, not only selling and buying and investing in real estate, over 3,117 families that we've been able to help, really coming alongside you to build your faith, build your fun, and even strengthen, heal, and flourish inside your relationships, and of course, build wealth through real estate. Um, so really 30 years of building your wealth, your fun, and your life, and your home. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to explore in this episode is will we what is it that will make our dream or steal our dream? Yeah. Make it or break it. Make it or break it. It's a consultant. Let, let me let me oh, let me, <laughs> ooh, just I'm, I'm a little fired up right now because there's a huge difference between a consultant that truly has your interests in mind. Sure, they'll get paid if you buy something. Sure, they'll they'll make money in the end if if it's the right thing for you to buy that particular thing. And I'm thinking of your parents right now. That's why I'm a little oh, fired I know. up. I know. I know where you were you going. You have seen your parents and they came up to visit a few weeks ago and they decided they wanted a new car. They decided they wanted a hybrid car. Okay, you don't have to give away all yes, the details. <laughs> <laughs> they decided they did not want a plug-in hybrid. Even though I tried to explain to them that it would be way better for them, gas mileage and whatever, they didn't want a plug-in. They didn't want the hassle of plugging it in, but they wanted a hybrid car. And so I showed them all the cars that were available. I did a consultation, really, because I love cars. I'm very, and, very knowledgeable yeah. cars. Did the research, showed them the five or six. They said, oh, we like the luxury one. It's beautiful. It's shapely. It's got everything we want. I said, great, go home. They live five hours from us. And when you're ready, go buy it. Well, they left. And then this two days ago, they said, oh, we bought a car. I said, okay. It wasn't the car they were talking about buying. I thought, okay. I go, was well, it the hybrid one? No, we decided we didn't buy the hybrid one. As long as it had this, this, and this feature. Well, they just called this morning and said, we got the car, we've driven it home, we hate it. It doesn't have the options that we had wanted. And how do we get out of it? And I'm thinking, Ooh, you don't get out of a car sale, that's pretty bad. So what I think is a car salesperson sold them what they had as opposed to what they wanted. And what was right for them in their stage of life. Yeah. Because they didn't stop to hear, consult, give options mm -hmm. and and learn from them they just i unfortunately sold them what they had i think so at any rate sure sounds like it yeah and that happens in real estate as well mm -hmm. when a salesperson doesn't act like a consultant first Mm -hmm. And that's why I think a lot of people hate the car buying experience, the home buying experience, because they're afraid somebody's going to take advantage of them. And I mean, if you don't let them, they can't. But it's so easy with the emotions that come along with a big purchase to get sucked in and it can work against you in the way we just mm -hmm. described. Or as we were just recently buying a place in Mexico, which we just were chatting about, what you don't know is the process was so horrific for me that I decided, even though I really wanted this place, I was done. Yeah. I'm not buying it. I because, think, mm. because the process was going to affect your dream. And just like the car, I'm going to back up for a second. Your parents are in their 80s. That's, it was their dream car. It was their last car. They said, this is the last car we're going to buy. And now they bought something that's and when you're buying a house, it may not be the last house you buy, but typically you're going to be in it for quite a while. It's your dream of that home fitting your lifestyle, your family, your situation. It fits you, right? It needs to fit it, you. Well, it needs to, and not just you, all that you're up to in the world. Yeah. The giving that you want to do, the activities you want to be involved with, the places of worship that you want to be engaged with, the 
the schooling, the proximity, the commute, the parks, the nature, the everything mm -hmm. that you're at, as well as pocketbook. I mean, certainly the finances is a piece of it, but it is not the biggest piece. No, it's uh, sometimes a limiting factor for what you want. You have right. sometimes part of the consultation is adjusting with you your expectations for the budget that you have. Right. Right. And so that's all part of the consultation. So I invite you to pick up the phone and call us at 613-860-4663 and book your free no obligation consultation, right? Like we'll, we'll sit down. If it's with me, it'll be 45 minutes an hour. If it's Yetta, it might be two hours, three hours, whatever, oh, come on. whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> And anyway. we can be on Zoom. You don't even have to do it in person if it's faster and easier and better for you. But so. we're going to actively listen to what you are saying. We're going to ask some probing questions to dig a little deeper to find out exactly what is helpful and what's going to be the best solution for you. Just or you can email us, right? Where could yeah. they email us? Well, Info. together. Oh, together. together. Together is the one you love. Yeah, of course it is. Together at deckerteam.com. And of course, Decker has no C's in it, just two K's. It's double, double K. Um, so as I was starting to sort of think about almost not getting our dream, our emotions, and I have so many clients do it as well. The emotional journey that we go on when we're buying or selling or even investing, whether it's a car or a house or anything, sometimes it just derails us. Oh, it was going to, it us. was your emotions, because I'm the steady one, folks. <laughs> your yeah. emotions were going to take you out of the game because several times you said to me, Ken, I'm done. It's taking too long. I don't like the process. I'm, I feel out of control. Right. I'm finished. Well, Just the house, okay, but like the house had been on the market for a year, the one property. Yeah. And then it took three weeks to get an answer. And then when we got the answer, it was a full price counter after a year on the market. And three weeks of waiting. And three for weeks that. of waiting past the irrevocable. The irrevocable they wanted was two days. So we gave them two days, which I thought was crazy to start with. But you know what? I'll do what you asked me to do. Did that. Three weeks later, so it was like, I'm done, I'm not buying that. And I didn't. Well, not not just not buying that. I know. Not buying anything. <laughs> done. And I said, are you going to allow a poor process to prevent you from having your dream that you've dreamt about for over a decade? Are you going to let it, you know, you've been working hard, saving for it. Are you going to let that process stop you? Right. And that's really the, our question for you today. When you're in the middle of something and your emotions start to get away with you, and maybe you're a steady Eddie like Ken, and even then, sometimes his emotions can run him amok as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so are you going to let those things that don't go the way they should go, like it didn't go the way it ought to have gone. So I had every justification to get a little riled up and worked mm -hmm. up and a lot worked up even. And yet, are you going to allow the process, the journey, the experience to derail you from getting your desire right. or your dream? Right. And remember, a smooth process does not necessarily mean there will be no turbulence. Just because the pilot of the plane has the perfect path marked out they may still hit turbulence, but they know what to do and they're prepared for it. And that's what a strong real estate agent does for you. So we're honored to be your advocates on this journey of building wealth in real estate and life. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.